in Hong Kong. Fiji. Back off, Lou. Back off, Lou. First one off, White. Good work there from Uruguay. It's one thing, if people haven't watched them before, we just saw Argentina play. They're very much of the same ilk. They're very tough in those set pieces. They love to ruck. They love to be physical. They will challenge you in the defensive part. Fiji, well, we know how explosive they are. They don't need half a chance to score. This is actually going to be Uruguay's ball into the scrum. So they have the first chance to attack here. Justin Steen. Half back for Uruguay. Again they come. To the left side. A little show of the ball from Batista Basso. It's a slow recycle. Handing defensively an advantage. Now Echeverri for Uruguay. As Uruguay, they come to the right edge of the park now looking for an opportunity. Now McCubbin. And they advance, they're inside the 22. Now Uruguay, Echeverri again with the ball, backs away, then the pass. Was loose, but they recover, Uruguay. And a penalty for a high shot and a quick tap. Fiji look like they're inside the 10. There it is. No. Yeah, turnover. I think it was from Jeremiah Matana who gives Fiji an opportunity here. And they don't need much. One position of the board. They've thrown one pass. They've gone over the halfway. That's their second pass in this position. Uh, Nadu Valo. Coasts away. One position. One line break. Two passes. Try. Yeah, take it back to the turnover though. 10 metres out from their line and Jeremiah Matana. It's a great work, but they just make it look so easy. They didn't even get out of second gear there, to be fair. Nanduvalo, as soon as he receives this pass, right here, draw and pass. Oh, you know what? I'll just do a step. And I'll just go through and just cruise. But that's where they are so dangerous. Tolotholo was the one. <coughs> Just sliced down the middle of the park, and he was the deliverer for the number 12. We what? Nduvalo. Five nil becomes seven. Nduvalo. Try number 33 for him now. Only played six tournaments coming into this one. Kick off secured by the Dalatholo's big right hand palm, and then from the position, Fiji canter away for their second try. <laughs> oh, Bukiaro. Oh, the restart. So that's where they just reign so supreme. They just continue to have a production line of Fords that can just get up and challenge at the restart. We just missed it there. But if you're going to overchase, not make your tackles. And just chuck your arms out against guys around that area of the restart and they will slice you every time Buki Yaro right. kick off number three this time they go deep and through the middle but look at the quality of the chase from Fiji both sides of the ball they're up to it's it and they win the penalty it's on the ground holding on quick tap inside the five and classy outfit Fiji especially the quality of the chase yeah the chase was in but this has got Ben Gollings written all over it the long kick it's going to bite, be my Samoa with the score. But the awareness from kickoff. Ben Gollings would have said if the shallow with their kicking pods going behind, they did that. Ndvalo was the one that chased it, got the turnover and the penalty. And my Samoa took the quick tap. Heads up, play. My Samoa would be very popular in RP. I'll give you the tip. 
popular in Fiji too because he's pretty good. I'll give you the tip. <laughs> Another long uh, kick. The target was Talatholo. Again, looking to mix their game up. Their last kick was straight down the middle with a good chase. This one out to the right edge. So plenty of variation in their offense. Yeah, there's something just for them to think about. They know they can win those ones down the middle of the park. This is the second time Uruguay have had an opportunity with the ball in there. They're pretty effective last time, but they can't get isolated. So Echeverri was playing halfback. And was just able to get the ball away for the captain, Adal. And then a little opportunity for them down the right edge of the Fijian defence, but it closes quickly. Now they come through the middle, Basso. Oh, unlucky. Lock on, open touch option. For Guy. Power play, power play. <laughs> oh, this might be a kicking of the ball away, and you can't do that at this level. This is something they're going to have to adapt to. The Uruguayans is going to be a yellow card. I know it's harsh. But it's something these new teams, when they come up to this level, you can't do those sort of things. When you're doing it against Fiji, it makes it even worse. And you're just handing position over to a team that's already leading by 19 points. And they are playing well within themselves, Fiji, as you would normally expect game one and pool play on day one. Again, they're just able to put pressure. That ball's gone forward. So Uruguay with a chance to close out the half in a positive way if they can string some phases together, Uruguay. This is a good start. Adol. Lichtenstein. Again caught in a two-man tackle back down the right side where six attackers on seven defenders. Echeverri again playing halfback. Damas Echeverri. Fiji trying to make a play at the ball. There's a kick pass out to the left edge. This will be interesting. And Fiji, this will be a try. They had competed so well, Uruguay. The game, our game can be very cruel. One little half chance. And Naduvalo was away for another Fiji try. Oh, the work from my Samoa, though, was fantastic. Zuri scored a try, the number 11 for Fiji. But it was his defensive work on this occasion that created a try. He's been working hard during number 11 with dreadlocks. Look at him here. Times it beautifully. Takes him to deck, get backs up, and then turns that ball over. That's fantastic. From their number 11, great awareness at ruck time. Went to challenge, went to let the ball go. This will be a nice shot of it. Look at the big shot. Drives him in. Let's go. Gets him behind the gate. Picks that ball up. Punches through and gives that pass. Well done. Dominant statement from Fiji, who lead 26 points to nil at half time over Uruguay. Rude awakening for Uruguay. Great to see them playing on this stage. But an ominous opponent for them to meet so early in their sevens career. Yeah, very tough time. introduction, that's for sure. But that's going to be across the park for them over the course of this weekend. But they will have their moments, that's for sure. They've already shown against Fiji that they do have the ability to threaten and break defences. But they can't have any ill discipline, which they showed a little bit in that first seven minutes. But they'll grow from this experience, that's for sure. So Nathumu goes short and through the middle again. The chase from uh, Mai Samoa and Uruguay start with the ball inside their own half. Nice tackle, Matana. And they're good. Over the ball, forced a turnover. Now Fiji. Now Thungu in the middle. He's got players available on the outside. He doesn't need them. 
too quick with his own in and away. And 31 points to nil with the conversion to come. You got the captain's armband in this tournament, Nathungu. Makes it look so easy. And Fiji, while well, they're dominating two areas, first it's restart and then the breakdowns. They're getting a number of turnovers there. There was one just showing in the build up of well, this last try. And now with such an early score in the second half, that allows Ben Gollings to be able to rotate his players, get them into the tournament. This is after the turnover. But he just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? That step doesn't lose speed when he does step. And it's a real secret. A feature Hold of his on, play in the Thungu. Yeah, he's coming, he's coming for aid to come off. Time off. Hold on. Complete. Time back on. In Fiji. Go short. Razionis. For Uruguay secures the ball. Now Vinals. Look at that hustle in defence from Fiji. Again, just the pressure. They've been denied space and denied time. Uruguay. Yeah, there's also, you can hear right from the commentary booth, a lot of comms as well from the Fiji. Just, that's when you know they can. A lot of hands on hips, maybe just intimidating the Uruguayans a little bit here. Five, They've been physical move. throughout oh, Fiji. Five, I understand just the hesitancy from Uruguay. It's a knock on. Complete. Oh, man, oh man, a very tough spot Time to defend on. here. If you're an Uruguayan player looking up and then Fiji are loaded right Find. to the right hand side. Three players there available. Set. Wait, nine. Nathungo and the little wrap around, but they lose their way. So Bakayaro gets a ball away in the tackle, pass blind, but there was a player there. Now Talatholo, big, tall, and lean Talatholo with the offload. And Saturanga going to be tackled short. They've got four on one out on the right side. They don't need any of them. They're making it look easy, aren't they? Fiji. Yep. Look at this work. Just had the breakdown again. An area that's just been so strong. And they're loaded to the right hand side. A number of players could have scored it. Three players unmarked. Outside them as well. The conversion is good. And a very early public statement from Fiji who lead by 40 with three and a half to go in the second half against Uruguay. And the ball's gone forward off Uruguay. Gee, they can't take a trick today, Uruguay. They concede another position. They're inside their own half. They're down by plenty. And they're coming again at them at the right edge. Tala, Thulo. Well, the right arm available, the tackle's not made, and then a cruisy finish from Wale Soliso. What a make, way to make an impact off the bench. Back up your first try down the one side, and then go down the far edge where you're patrolling the wing, and score another. What I like about them, they take the ball forward and the timing of the pass, they don't have to engage into contact until they really need to. And Uruguayans just coming off, bit of fatigue setting in for them. Just using arms, not getting shoulders. Look at that strong left hand fence. For why Liso Liso, very impressive. Outing already on game one for Fiji. It's a tough day at the office for Uruguay, but gee, they're easy to watch Fiji. Very easy. They play a brand of football that gets us all excited. And again, more variation to their kicker. They opt to go down the middle in the defence. Wilangi Patterson on that occasion. 
Now Pastore tries to get through the defence line. Fasiolo. Now they make their way into the Fiji half through Brazionis. In the defence, Uruguay from Fiji is organised, aggressive. It's hard. They've had the ball for a number of phases. Uruguay, but they just can't make an impression. And now Fiji, they've got to go 95 metres off this position. They pick the ball up on their own five metre line. They're over the halfway already. They've got three players. Unmarked. They just needed to pick one of them out. And all their endeavour and no reward for Uruguay and Fiji in the game. But off the back of some great defence, they had to defend for multiple phases. Uh, just when you thought Uruguay are going to score, Fiji numbers back, cause a turnover. There it is there from Bukiyaro. There's the turnover and straight away the ability to just spin it. And go straight into attack. That's a nice injection from Ratu Lafuri. Man, they have just coasted in this first outing. He'd be very happy with the defence. Ben Gonling's obviously at 52 points. He'd be delighted with the attack. The fact that they hung tough in defence for the entire contest. Fiji, they were very competitive in contact. Really put in a tackle advantage. Uruguay under Top pressure. Only. So knock on in the tackle. Can't recall any tackles being missed. And I think... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, Uruguay, well, they're one of those teams that are very physical. I think with the defence, as you spoke about, for Fiji, really took that away and took their game plan. Right.